Eric, as the president and CEO of Tourism Vancouver, what are these Olympic, the, the Winter Olympic Games of 2010 going to mean to our city? Well, they've already started to mean a lot. You know, the publicity, the amount of recognition around the world, the media coverage, the international media community has already started to, to cover Vancouver and, and write about it and say, how is this place going to host the Olympics and what's going to happen and where's Vancouver, where's Whistler? And, and it's become British Columbia Games and, and, and so British Columbia has had a, a, a tremendous amount of publicity as well already and we're a year and a half out. Yes. I mean, this is good for your business, isn't it? Well, it's for great your for the position. tourism. Yeah, for the for the tourism business, it's uh, it's strong because the, the the legacy of the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Not only does it have long coattails right now for for Whistler business or for Vancouver business, but but for all of Canada because of the the publicity. But in the long term, once we've hosted the games, uh, this will be just tremendous because it'll put Vancouver on the map. Tell me who was there that you remember. And how was that moment that they announced that those Olympics, because you were in that room. In Prague, very exciting, yeah. very exciting. And, and when it was announced with a bit of a pause that <laughs> yeah. the, the, the host destination is Vancouver, uh, the, 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 the Canadian delegation, which yeah. included the prime minister, about 100 people just mm -hmm. jumped out of our seats, and it was it was a thrill because we're Wayne up against Gretzky South Korea. Was there. Absolutely, it was part of the presentation. Yeah. Uh, John Furlong, who's who's now the the head of the Vancouver organizing committee, yes. and they're doing a superb job. All the facilities will be ready over a year in advance, which will give the Canadian athletes a, a home field advantage, as it were, to, to be able to use the facilities to train. So mm -hmm. a lot of good will come out of this for all of Canada, for, for athletes, for sport, and, and of course for the, the tourism industry, but for Vancouverites as well. We're going to be hosting the world, and, mm -hmm. and uh, that's an exciting Any opportunity. Any drawbacks? That's probably not popular to talk about. But. Well, you know, th there are. I mean, when you've got construction now that is has to be done before the Olympics, that yes. gives people traffic jam hazards or mm -hmm. frustration. And, and that's there. A, a lot of new things coming into place, so people are adapting. We're changing as a as a province and as a, a city. Uh, our link with Whistler is becoming short, and then that's going to be great in another year or so. But right now, it's a frustration for people driving. So right. there are drawbacks. But that road is is that's worth having the Olympics, no matter what. Well, one of the things that when the Olympics were, when the bid was launched in, in 96 and 97, a lot of the, the talk then was that if we had a deadline like 2010 public policy decisions would be made around infrastructure, around housing, around dealing with issues that otherwise could languish. So, yeah, mm. it's, 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 um, it's, it's made us better as a, as a province and as mm -hmm. a, a destination. Rick, do you think that you can do anything about twinning the Portman Bridge? Or do you know anyone that you could talk to before the Olympics? of 2010. You know, one of the things that the provincial government has done a particularly good job of yes. is pacing things, what can be done before the Olympics, ah. and things like putting the new roof on BC Place Stadium, leaving that until after the Olympics. One of the things that the Premier said is that we're not going to invite the world to a construction site, and we're going to complete <laughs> things like the rapid transit and the convention center expansion before 2010, you're and use them to our advantage. You're basically telling me no then. The right. short answer is no.